guys it's Lacey so um, I know most of you have been waiting I don't know like a year for another house building video so I really apologize for that um, you guys probably don't know but I did get a full-time job where I work Monday through Friday uh, 8 to 5 so I don't really have a whole lot of free time being that I also have three kids and you know kids are pretty darn demanding and uh, you know I get home I cook supper I get everybody in the bath I make sure everybody has their homework done you know it's a pretty long process and it doesn't leave a whole lot of free time for me other than the weekends which eh, the weekends I usually spend you know cleaning and doing stuff that needs to be done around the house and uh, I just don't have any free time anymore so I really apologize for the lack of videos lately but I did finally get a video done. I did have some free time uh, for the past two weekends. Um, this house literally took me four days to finally get done because of all the things that I have to get done. Um, so yeah, it took me four days, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and then another Saturday and Sunday. So I apologize for that. And I don't know, it seems like to me, like this video seems a little less like, I don't know, it seems a little bit like bad quality. I don't know if that's just me, um, but I apologize for that. I don't know why it's doing that. I haven't changed any of my settings on here, so I don't know why it would be showing up a little bit grainy. Uh, but to me, it looks like it's showing up kind of weird quality. So I definitely apologize for that. And in the pictures at the end, you will definitely see the final product. Um, I definitely did... A very big house to sort of kind of make up for you know missing so many house building videos that you guys have been probably patiently waiting for and anticipating so yeah again I apologize I hope you guys can forgive me for my lack of videos but I hope this sort of you know semi makes up for it a little bit so this house I called um, Liliana Manor. Um, it's a very big house. It's located in Newport. It is on the largest lot in Newport. I believe it's the 50 by 40 lot. I believe, I don't know. It's the largest lot in Newport. Um, so yeah, that's what this house is. And I really spent a lot of time on it, trying to perfect it, trying to give it, you know, as many details as I could with the limited limited amount of time that I had um, so I hope you guys really enjoy it um, right now I'm doing the roof and the roof um, I did try to you know give it a little bit of, a little bit of extra character by adding those little pieces there that you see and um, just by doing something a little different than what you know you mostly see uh, yeah, so I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's a huge house. It actually, in the main house, it actually has four bedrooms. One downstairs is the master bedroom. And it's huge and it has like this, uh, it's basically like its own quarters. Um, it's very big though. I think you guys will love it. And then there's three bedrooms upstairs. There's a girls room and a boys room and then there is a um i don't know like a a guest bedroom which i have left unfurnished because in true lacy love sims fashion i always leave one room for you guys to do with what you want or decorate yourselves um so that is what i did i left that room for you guys to finish um and each one of the bedrooms upstairs has its own bathroom so basically every bedroom in this house has its own bathroom. And then there is also a half bath downstairs for you know the household, which does not have a shower or bath in it. It just has a toilet and a sink, just a half bath. But you know, people that are visiting are not gonna be coming over and taking showers more likely. Uh, unless they want to, then they can go through one of the bedrooms, I guess. So uh, right now I am building the garage, as you can see and obviously we all know that in the sims 4 we cannot have garages yet but uh you know realistically most houses have garages so i went ahead and put one in anyway and i'm just trying to right now make 
the top of it look more realistic and give it more character so that is what I'm doing there with the there's supposed to be like little balconies but I, I think it gives it a little bit of character and makes it look really cute um, and then right here is the entrance to the guest house which it's like a guest more of like yeah it's I would definitely call it a guest house because it's got basically it's a whole nother house it's a whole nother living area um, there's no stove or anything like that but there is a small kitchen with like a microwave and like you know stuff for them to make snacks and stuff and then downstairs there it's like a downstairs and an upstairs downstairs there's a kids bedroom and a bathroom and then upstairs there is a small kitchen very small kitchen a living room and study area and then a master bedroom and another bathroom so if you wanted to have a whole family stay over you could so that's basically what I did there um, so yeah I basically just got done with the layout I totally missed that but yeah so this is the back porch it's very huge I tried to do it like half covered like half covered by a roof and then the other half you know sun so you you know can lay out or whatever and for some reason in this house um, I don't know why but it didn't save what I did on the back porch like I had furnished the back porch I made like a patio table and grilling area and for some reason that didn't save or it disappeared or I don't know I'm not really sure what happened so if you download this house I'm not really 100% sure if it's going to be there or not, so I apologize for that. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just doing the layout for the upstairs as you can see, and um, obviously each room, own bathroom, huge closet, definitely, definitely a huge house, and definitely you could have a huge family live in this house. I think the final cost of this house was like, 267,000 simoleons which obviously is a lot but you know you know it's going to be that way when you have a huge house so um, this is the guest quarters right now that I'm doing I believe yes um, and I also did furnish semi furnish the garage but really all I put in there was a couple cars you know obviously the cars are are just um sculptures that I have upsized in you know to make them look like real cars um, and I really wish the Sims 4 would come out with some regular just cars I don't care if they're usable or not like just give us some real regular cars I don't even care um, so yeah I kind of you know go all around with this oh and by the way there is a portion of the video where I believe I'm master I'm mastering I'm furnishing the master bedroom um, for some reason that video had an error in it or something I, I'm not really sure what happened there but uh, the video didn't register it didn't work it just had an error message on it so when I'm uh, furnishing the master bedroom you guys won't be able to see that because I couldn't use that video for some reason I don't know I'm sorry about that but you will be able to see the final result in the pictures it's pretty awesome it's like a it's a huge bedroom where there's like a wall in the middle separating a, li a small living area or sitting area from you know the bed and the actual sleeping area so and then of course there's the master bathroom which is gorgeous and huge and then there's like a big huge walk-in closet area where I actually did use like um, the Sims 4 walk-in closets I used one of those I believe and then I did like a little sitting area in there and a mirror and like made it look really pretty and you know basically what a, what a huge master closet would look like so yeah that's what I did there and yeah so um i'm just looking at this video as i'm talking and it's just like why why is it so grainy and weird looking like what did i do differently this time i don't know maybe i just need to update my obs i don't know 
that could be a possibility. Maybe it's my video card. I really hope it's not. But my com my computer has been acting up a little bit lately, which is surprising because I have barely even used it lately. But I really hope that I can at least finish this and see what's wrong and bring you guys another video, hopefully. I would assume that depending on my free time and how much time I have, I'm hoping to at least try to bring you guys a video at least like once a month or so. That might be pushing my luck a little bit depending on how much I have to do, but um, maybe a, once a month once every month and a half something like that and I probably say that and I probably won't be able to and then I'll feel really bad because I really want to bring you guys videos I know that you've been waiting so patiently and I've been getting I've been getting so many messages and comments from you guys and I really appreciate every single one of you and how patiently you've been waiting and I really like it really it's on my mind all the time like all the time I'm thinking about oh I really need to try and find some time to make a video for you guys and build a house and but it's you know it's hard it's hard to do sometimes because it takes a really long time for me to build a house like especially a huge house like this it takes a really long time like over time I'd say I spent like I don't know like six to eight hours building this house like in total actual building time so but when when you're like a mom and you have a job and you have all this stuff going on like it's hard to find that time sometimes so I'm really gonna try and work on it so I hope you guys will stick with me and you know at least stay subscribed and wait for them videos and you know be there for me because you know I'll be there for you so so yeah that's where I'm at right now I really you know as far as the gardening in this house where I'm doing now I know I totally switched subjects there but the gardening is kind of basic um, I didn't want to go too overboard with the gardening because gardening can take like a really long time if it's really intricate um, but there's been many houses where I've gone like completely bonkers with the gardening and if we're being honest like most houses most normal houses that you see in real life they don't have like super like intricate and super crazy gardening like it's just like they have you know like this like basic little areas where they have their flower beds and their you know trees and but they're not super crazy so that's kind of why why I stuck with a more slightly simple but pretty I think it's pretty so I hope you guys like it um, and it, it just really makes me mad that that back porch didn't save for some reason it's probably my fault I probably did something wrong because I was trying to rush at the end of the video to get it done so that I could get the video done by today which is Sunday um, I was really trying to get the video done by today so you guys could have it, you know, by today because I have to go back to work tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, here we go in finally furnishing the house, which took me so long. I think I had the actual house build done in one weekend, and then the furnishing I did this weekend, which took literally, uh, yeah, all of Sat, all, not all of Saturday, but like half the day Saturday and half the day Sunday so yeah furnishing took me quite a while and as I told you before my computer's been kind of acting up lately like my power cord is being stupid and every now and then like every couple hours my computer will just boom turn off and lose power because my I think my power cord is going bad or something and if there was like at least two times when it did that and I had forgot to save and I lost everything I had done uh, I usually I'd only lost like three rooms that I'd furnished but I had to go back in and completely refurnish them rooms which took even more time so yeah that was a pain in the butt but uh, I did go ahead and go online and order a whole new power cord so hopefully 
that won't be an issue anymore because it's not my battery. I already did all them checks and everything where you can check and make sure it's not your battery or whatever. I'm so rambling on right now, but you know. Uh, so yeah, my computer's been really ticking me off lately and I know at one point uh, I had like the whole upstairs furnished almost and I was sitting there thinking in my head, okay, I need to save, I need to save. And then right as I'm thinking that in my head, my computer turned off. I was like, oh, are you kidding me right now? So yeah, I was pretty mad. And then I think I, I was like, you know what, screw this. And I like went away from my computer for at least, I don't know, three or four hours. I was like, I'm not, I'm not finishing it right now. And uh, yeah, I did end up finishing it, but it took me a couple hours to go back to it. Um, so yeah. Uh, the furnishing takes does take quite a while in this house just because it's such a big house. Um, and there is one part that I did notice as I was saving the house and um, getting it ready to, you know, save and everything. There is one point in the master bathroom where I upsized some shelves, like some shelving units and they are sticking out of the side of the house. I did not realize that until the very end after I had already saved it, after everything was already done. So um, yeah, you might have to go in and put a tree there or put something there to block, the, <laughs> to block them uh, or to hide them, which is what I would do. I would just hide them with like a tree and a whole bunch of plants or something. So um, yeah, on the side of the house, I believe on the left side of the house where the master, bed, master bedroom slash bathroom is, there's just like about three or four shelves sticking out of the wall on the outside of the house. Uh, so I definitely apologize for that too. And just, you know, if you can go in there and hide them, that would be great. But yeah, so... If you guys really, really love this house, please let me know. Uh, please leave me some comments and, you know, let me know how you're feeling about everything. And I would really appreciate that. You know, I always, I almost always reply to every single one of your comments the best I can. Uh, so, yeah. Love you guys. I will get off of here so you guys can finish watching this, you know, grainy video. And, oh. Apparently it did record this part. I did not think it recorded this part. This is the, uh, uh, master closet. I was totally drawing a blank right there. But yeah, this is the master closet, but I think I, uh, this part didn't actually save, so I had to go in and redo it, so it might look a little different than it does now. Uh, but yeah, this is the master bedroom, so I'm not... Yeah, I totally had to redo this. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe on this video and keep watching. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.